Hey, boys and girls, me and Miss Chrissy sure miss all of y'all. I can't wait for the day when we can all get back together and have our class back as normal. Hopefully that will be happening soon. I'm going to uh, tell you the lesson today is about a man named Paul. We've talked about him before. And he was traveling around and teaching people about Jesus. There's a lot of people in the area. This was all new information to them. So he traveled around and started telling them more and more about Jesus. Today we're going to learn about him traveling to a country of Greece and a town called Athens. And Paul was traveling and he was waiting on a couple of guys named Silas and Timothy. And while he was waiting on them to arrive in the city, he started walking around and down in Athens. It was, Athens was a really big town then. It was like a central port. A lot of, a lot of people lived there. They, they sold a lot of things. It was a very wealthy town. So Paul was walking around and looking, and one thing he noticed right off is that there were idols everywhere. And do you all know what idols were? Remember, they're any, usually they're things people make with their hands, and they like of animals and stuff like that. And people would walk by and start worshiping them. I know that doesn't make any sense, right? Especially a God you make with your hands. But people back then would make them with their hands. And Paul said that Athens was covered with them. Everywhere he went, he saw these idols. So he knew this was a good place to start telling people about Jesus. So after Timothy and Silas arrived... He started uh, walking around the city and teaching people about Jesus. And he went to the synagogue. Y'all remember what that is, right? That's like the church, the, uh, the building that the Jewish people go to worship in. So he went to the synagogue and started teaching the Jews and talking with them. And he left from went out in the marketplace, the Bible tells us, and he started trying to tell the people about Jesus. But a lot of the people got really upset with the message that he had to say. They're like, who does this guy think he is coming to our town, starting to talk to us about gods? You can just look around anywhere and see. we know a lot about gods because they had, they had those everywhere Paul went. So Paul said, well, yeah, that's true. Y'all feel like you know a lot about it, but I'm here to tell you about the one true God that you don't know about. So some of the people got really upset with the message he had, but others didn't. So finally they said, well, you know, who do you think you are? You're coming here trying to talk to us about this. We feel like you don't know what you're talking about. But others wanted to hear his message. So he was invited to go to this special place and teach people more about Jesus so they could hear and make the decision themselves. So the Bible said he went to this big special place where people usually discuss things and they bring up new ideas and stuff like that. So the Bible tells us that Paul went there and he started his message off as like, people of Athens, I see that y'all are very religious people. Everywhere I go, I see idols up everywhere. He says, but I travel down and I saw an idol to almost everything and I saw this one idol that said to the unknown God and he says well people I'm here to tell you about this unknown God that you don't know about so the Bible says that he started telling them about the true God and we know who the true God is right he made everything we remember that back in Genesis he made the earth the sky the moon stars, the water, and everything. That's the one true God. So he started telling them about the one true God and His Son, Jesus Christ, how He died on the cross for our sins, and God wrote Him from the dead. That that's truly the one true God. So the Bible said that a lot of the people didn't really believe it, but here's the good thing is, some people did believe it. And the Bible also tells when he finished his story to the people, that some came up and they believed and became followers of Jesus Christ because of the story that they heard Paul say. So sometimes when we go out and we try to tell people about Jesus, we get a real negative reaction, right? I mean, look at Paul. Some of these people got angry enough to where they wanted him to leave the city. But other people did not. So no matter how the reaction is, how bad it is, there's always God's Word is always true, and God's Word always goes out, doesn't come back void. And the Bible says that some of these people, even though many, many of them were upset, they listened to what Paul said, and they did believe and became followers of Jesus. So I want you to remember that sometimes we're at school and we, we might something may come up about church or something and people make fun of you. But just remember, like same way with Paul, even though there may be some people that make fun and don't believe and things like that, there are some people that will. So just keep that in mind the way it 
worked out for Paul here in Athens. I want to say that, uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, that me and Miss Chrissy miss all y'all. We can't wait till we all get back together in one big group again, and hopefully that will happen soon. So thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.